Hi and welcome to our session where we'll be in conversation with Rosie White who is covering our English Literature courses. Rosie is going to tell us a little bit more about herself and about the courses. We'll have a few minutes at the end to answer any questions so if any of our Facebook Live viewers have any questions please feel free to leave a comment. So Rosie if you could introduce yourself please. Hello my name is Rosie White, I'm a senior lecturer in English at Northumbria University and I'm programme leader for the MA in English Literature and the MRS in English Literature. And at the moment I have a very heavy cold, <laughs> so my voice is slightly husky. <laughs> okay. Great. Um, so um, if it's okay with you, we'll just start answering um, mm -hmm. asking some questions. So um, what's the main differences between the English Literature MA and the English Literature MRS course? Okay, so the MA course is a taught programme. Um, the modules on it are possibly larger, more credit heavy than you would experience at an undergraduate level and obviously we're, we're teaching to a master's level so it's a step up from a degree uh, but it is very, in other ways very similar to a degree programme in that you do two modules per semester and a dissertation um, over the summer. The MRes programme is slightly different in that it's much more research oriented with the MRes, you don't get um, modules delivered to you. Um, instead, you come into the MRes. Part of the process of application is um, doing a proposal for your own project. So, in a sense, the MRes is a kind of mini PhD. It's particularly designed for students who are thinking possibly quite seriously about going on to PhD study. And the MRes project that they work on during that year could be a pilot study for a longer PhD thesis, for example, um, and we quite like that. There are taught elements to the MRes, and the MRes and the MA um, modules cross over, so there are modules such as critical contexts and research methods, which are respectively first and second semester, and those are taken by both MA and MRes students. Um, but the MRes um, students will not have the subject-specific modules that the MA students will do. Okay. So it's much more about kind of thinking about the M MRes project for them. So what can prospective students expect from the courses? Um, on the MA, um, or part of it I've described just now, so <coughs> there is, I suppose, two sides to the MA, first of all. One is a kind of... Um, critical development um, or two critical development modules. So the first one in the first semester again is critical context which is about literary and critical theory and getting you to think in more sophisticated ways about how theory works in relation to literature, possibly film and popular culture as well, but how um, theoretical material can help us engage with cult forms of cultural production. In the second semester you'll be doing a research methods module which will lead into your dissertation project on the MA. But the other side of the, the Masters programme um, is our two subject specific modules and from next year we're changing them. So this year um, I'm teaching on one of them which is running this semester, semester one at the moment on reading The American Man and in semester two uh, our students will be doing um, early Modern Echoes, which is an adaptations module. Next year, it's all new. Um, we are reinstating some modules that have run before because we have a kind of rolling menu of subject specialist modules that are run by staff who specialise in those particular areas. Um, so from next year, we have a Gothic theme running through it. In the first semester, uh, two of my colleagues are teaching a module called um, Dark Tourism, which is about... Um, as it sounds, um, looking at the ways in which certain aspects of tourism and texts are looking at dark, gothic kind of experiences. In the second semester, we have another gothic module running, which is called Gothic Spaces, which again is looking at kind of urban environments and how those can be understood through the kind of critiques and, and tropes that have been de developed by gothic fiction and, and the theory, critical theory that's around it. We've kind of touched on the specialisms, um, so we can talk about your, if you have any favourite modules that you like to teach, if there's anything that you'd like to well, talk I about. Well, te <coughs> excuse me, I teach on two modules on the MA, so I teach on this subject specialist module that's running at the moment with my colleague Victoria Bazin, who leads on it, which is Reading the American Man, mm -hmm. and we look at um, representations of American masculinity from the sort of mid-19th century right up to the present, and it's particularly interesting at the moment because we have some 
rather perturbing examples of American masculinity on the other side of the Atlantic, which keep coming up in conversation um, in seminars. So I really enjoy that module, it's great fun, and we're dealing with theories of masculinity as well, which is a nice turn, you know, most people when they think of gender they often think about femininity, but we're looking at sort of um, versions of masculinity and how that intersects with American national identities. The other module that I teach into um, in semester two is the research methods module and that's much more practical, it's kind of leading people up to writing their research proposal for their dissertation on the MA um, and it's, it's kind of workshops really and I enjoy that very much because it's just very practical. Mm -hmm. So it's talking about you know doing presentations, the kind of, in a sense it's really inducting students into the sort of work that we do as academics, so things like writing an abstract for a conference presentation, um, doing a small, you know, 10 minute, 15 minute presentation about your, your project, those kinds of things. And it, you know, we, we teach it in terms of how it, it intersects with the professional work of being an academic. So it, it's very practical and I, I think that works really well. Um, so can you tell us about some typical and maybe non-typical career paths that the courses have gone on to to yeah. kind of give students? I mean, I suppose the, there are two typical um, career paths. One is that people often use an MA, as I did myself, to figure out if they want to go on to further study, mm -hmm. i.e. to do a PhD, and maybe think about an academic career. Mm -hmm. So that's one, one thing. Um, during the year we are advertising, I mean, as, as programme leader, I'm putting up on our um, electronic learning portal Blackboard information about PhD studentships that are rising here and in other institutions in the region and, and indeed internationally. Um, the other um, standard sort of career trajectory I suppose is that we have a number of people doing the MA who either are teachers or would like to go into teaching and I think a master still has a role to play mm -hmm. in, that, in that kind of profession. I suppose outside of that um, We've had students who've gone on to do kind of event planning, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of work. And I think sometimes actually some of the work on the MRes has been really useful in that respect. One thing that the MA students don't do, that MRes students do do, um, in collaboration with MRes students across the faculty, is a module called Research Development, which is effectively putting on a conference. Mm -hmm. They organise um, a small day symposium, they give papers, uh, they um, contact and uh, you know uh, manage uh, a keynote speaker. They set up the catering. They do everything, mm -hmm. and it's it's a really useful uh, module. I think just for understanding the complexities of dealing with those kinds of events.